In this demonstration, we're going to continue in the, the ready to scan job and show you some advanced post scan editing capabilities, specifically the cropping and blanking tools of Capture Pro software. Click on the new batch button and create a brand new batch in the, uh, the ready to scan job. And to start out in this demonstration, let's make sure that first of all our page setup that we select is called color and black and white 200 dpi delete blanks. What we're going to do is scan in simultaneous color and black and white for the purposes of this demonstration. Next let's make sure that the layout is set back to the enhance mode which will show you the batch explorer, the image viewer, and the thumbnail viewer all at the same time in the main screen. Next we're going to scan the photo ID cards from Sunbelt Manufacturing. These are the, the photo personal identification cards that are in the Capture Pro software demo document set. Next thing you want to just make sure of again to just start in this demonstration is you want to make sure that we have no image viewing filters turned on. As you can see here I have all my filters turned off in my status bar. If you right click anywhere in the image viewer you'll get a context sensitive menu that will indicate what image filters may have been turned on. Here we have no filters turned on. There are no hide options that are enabled. So that's what we want to do to start out in this demonstration. So I'm going to scan my photo ID cards in a simultaneous color and black and white. Notice we have set this up to delete any rear or back blank images, so we're only getting the front of these photo ID cards. So you'll notice that we've scanned these in dual stream or simultaneous color and black and white. And what we're going to do first is do a crop of the color images because all we want or all we're concerned about is the photo on these ID cards from the color images. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on any image in the image viewer and I'm going to hide my black and white images. As you can see the image viewer now only shows me my color images and this could be useful uh, especially when you're doing on-the-fly image quality assurance during scanning you might only you know care about the quality of the color images because the black and white images are going to be used for barcode reading or maybe a zonal OCR or some other processing downstream so all you're really interested in from an image quality standpoint are the color images. As you can see here in my thumbnail viewer there's a separate image filter that is available and I actually don't have anything turned on there. I see my color and black and white images in my thumbnail viewer. I notice that the status bar indicates that there are filters that have been turned on because I have hidden or I'm not displaying the, the black and white images in the image viewer. I'm now going to disable the, the thumbnail viewer for the, the rest of this demonstration by closing the window. All right, so the so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop out just the photos. All right, so I'm going to click on my Draw Region tool. Get rid of that warning message. And I'm going to draw a box. around the photo. Now these photos happen to be in the same location on every single document scan. If I right click on the region, I'll have some options here and I want to apply this region to all the images of the document. So this is a very useful and productive way to, especially if you're scanning lots of these forms, without having to draw a region for every single image, you can apply the region to the entire document. And you'll notice here that we now have a region that's been drawn on every single image in this document, including the ones on the next page. Next, I need to select all of the images in the document. Currently, I only have the first image selected. That has the red rectangle around the image. I can click in the Batch Explorer on the Document node, and that'll select every single image in my document. And then what I can do is I can either do a crop or a blank operation. In this case, I want to do a crop. The only thing that will be left 
is the region that I've drawn. So I, I click on the crop tool, say yes, and you can see here that it does a crop on every single image that I've selected. And now you can see that we have just the photos that exist. So again, as you can see, a very powerful tool. What's important to note here is that these options such as crop and blank, which are altering the image content of the scanned images, can be enabled or disabled at the user profile level. So if you have users where you don't want them altering these images, you can actually go into user setup and make sure that those users will never even see these draw region crop and, and blank tools when they log on to Capture Pro software. Now, as it turns out, these particular people are part of the Witness Protection Program, so we need to protect their identity. A more realistic application could be health claim forms or, or documents that contain social security numbers, and you want to blank out from the image or hide from the image the presence of, of confidential data, such as uh, social security numbers. In this case, we're going to protect their identity by blanking out the eyes of these particular uh, people. So we're going to again use the draw region tool which is already selected and we're going to draw a region around someone's eyes. We're going to apply that region to the entire document. Now notice that everybody's a little bit different, right? So in this case the region of concern is not in the same location. But I can very quickly by just clicking on the region and then using the, the mouse drag the region for every image to the appropriate spot. And if someone needs to be enlarged because their face is a little bigger, I can do that. As you can see here, I can alter the region per image. Okay. I can navigate down to the, the rest of the images and make sure the regions are drawn properly. This lady actually needs her region uh, enlarged height-wise, and she's got her head tilted off to the side, so I can do that. So now, now that we have everything applied there, I can cl now click on the blank tool and protect the identity of these people. So you can see very powerful, very easy to use post-scanning tools in Capture Pro software for cropping and blanking. And that's the end of this demonstration.